Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the Australian Bogan Feral family. I'm so excited to jump into this. I don't even think y'all understand. A Bogan Feral family. This is gonna be hilarious. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up. Uh, let's jump right in. Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. We're all for family activities where parents and children join in together. But this family's yes. idea of entertainment is to make life hell for their neighbours with abuse and bombarding them with rocks and other missiles. Oh my God. Jesus. Tormenting you them, you're Excuse throwing me. rocks, you're Excuse letting your kids me. swear. I thought it was gonna be funny, but nah, nah, this ain't good at all, dog. The teacher, to raise your kids like this is crazy, and I do my best because you know what I'm saying? Not to judge anyone on how they raise their kids, but come on, dog. Like, you know yourself, this is not good behavior, dog. But it's already terrible enough for you to do it, but for them to show your kids and root them on and doing it and give them that example is insane. ...and yell at them. They're an out-of-control family. Absolutely petrified. No respect for other people, full stop. With a mob mentality. Sheridan Bro. McGuire and Brenton Kelly live with their three young boys. What chance have these children got? And their How are they not in jail? ...is tormenting their neighbours. We've had death threats, we've had numerous things thrown at us, we're sick of it. Rocks, fence palings, the family will throw anything in the direction of other residents. Why? My dad deny they're setting a bad example for the kids. How, how, how do you know I'm encouraging them? <laughs> we see it on the cam. What, you, what a dumb question. What a legit dumb question. We're watching you do it, dog. That's how we know. And I'm allowed to talk. I don't give a They're pissing me off. The kids were throwing rocks and swearing like I've never heard a child swear in my life. What would you like me to do? Come down and flog the crap out of them? They terrorise the whole neighbourhood. Get them under control? This is a neighbourhood war involving two families who have young children. The Fishers, who live at this house, claim they've copped eight hellish months of abuse and torment at the hands of their neighbours. It's become so bad, police advise them to upgrade their security. So they installed eight security cameras around their home, but it seems it's only made the problem worse. That's oh, crazy. I'm just trying to protect my family, but it's hard when there's scum living next door. Susan what and did Travis they do? Fisher and their two young children live on the other side of this fence, which has become a daily battle line. The Fishers say they're living in constant fear of what their neighbours will do next. When we confronted Sheridan Maguire and Brenton Kelly about their unneighbourly behaviour, they were just as foul-mouthed to us. That, I mean, man, hey, get off my property, me. right? Did you just say that? Yes, I did. You're a smart man. People I like can. That. You're on my property, I can. I'm not actually on your property. Yet they maintain it's the fishers who are causing all the problems. How so? Some emotion cameras. Now in your bedroom, that's your private. Well, area. that's because they're scared. They want to protect themselves. They're scared of you okay, two. Yeah, yeah. If you get the good evidence, you may be able to get a court order to stop this sort of stuff. Property yeah, order. I don't understand how they're not in jail, dog, or what, how, <laughs> how the parents ain't locked up for destruction of property, for disturbing the peace, for, <laughs> for all of this, dog. Like, <laughs> what's going on? Timo Dwyer. The other adverse aspect of a, of a security camera is that it can fuel misbehavior. 
they're getting their children to do everything because they know they can't be charged. The Fishers aren't the only ones in the neighbourhood who've installed security cameras. I'm a single lady, I live here by myself. I've got no one else to back me up for my own peace of mind. Lee Martin lives on the other side of Sheridan and Brenton. She claims she was their target before the Fishers moved in. These are some of the things that get thrown into my backyard. Screwdrivers, you know, um, bits of lead pipe, um, solar lights from the neighbour over the road. Every couple of years they might do this property and then that property and then that property and they move around. The fishers say they now cop the brunt of their anger. In this instance, both families can be heard hurling abuse at one another. But it's Sheridan and Brenton who involve their children egging them on to vandalise their neighbour's property. Oh my God! Frightening behaviour continues for 10 minutes. Fed up, Travis Fisher retaliates. He did throw a rock back two weekends ago. One rock, I don't know how many they threw. What do they expect? And who do they think they are? Next, the CCTV footage shows Brenton running towards their property in a fit of rage. He's armed and angry. Look, here he comes now. Look at this animal. Absolute animal. The torment, abuse and rock throwing also Jesus. happens after dark. The fishers claim these pictures show their neighbours playing a practical joke by throwing what appears to be a body over the fence. When police arrive the next morning, they discover it's a lifelike figure made out of material and pillows. Why are you harassing and taunting your neighbours? Are you for real? When we caught up with Sheridan Maguire outside this service station, she told us her family, not the Fishers, is being victimised. Her, Hell. as a, a person, can do what she's done to my family and what then is... play the victim card. They still ain't said what the other family done did. I want to know they side of this. I'm not probably not going to agree with they side, but I want to know. What? Sheridan, what has she done to your family? So yeah, if you can't even but explain it, Sheridan dog. You're lying. Home, the torment continues. Police have arrived not long after we confronted neighbours Brenton and Sheridan because the fishers are terrified of what might happen next. The cops have always been around there every single day. Complaints to local council and the property's landlord have fallen on deaf ears. The problem is the house is owned by Sheridan Maguire's mother, so the family won't be moving out anytime soon. Too bad, so sad. We're not going anywhere. The only option left for these frustrated residents is to take their fight to court. The neighbours need to go and get some legal advice, perhaps all go together. This is where my family is going to stay and I'm going to do what I have to. Why can't we just have peace? If you need That's help with crazy. problem neighbours, you can email us at a current affair. I, I, I still just don't understand how they get away with it. I, I don't understand how they get away with it. But that's all we got. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's your boy Dina. Out.